Hello everybody and welcome back to Prison Architect. So we're just having a look at slowly but surely expanding our prison and we need to get ourselves a set of groundskeeper or gardeners. So we can have a look at what we're doing here. So 11 minutes left on gardeners, it shouldn't be too long before we can afford those. And we've got a higher one and that should give us a nice little payout. So we're already up to 71,000. So we need to have a look at some of the other sort of main things that we're going to need. So we can use this space here. I think that's what I want to do. So we've got visitation. There are some other rooms that I want. Um, but kind of one of the main things I'm going to need is the sort of infirmary or the place where people go when they get a bit hurt. So let's build some foundations. I'll we'll make the infirmary out of brick. I'm also going to maybe use this three this area as like the education center as well. We put some classrooms in here. So if we make it the 26 long by 11 wide, I mean it's got a nine inside. Yeah, we'll just make it 11 and then that'll give us a nine inside. So that'll do for now. Let's start that. And we'll just make a simple, I just need a regular door, I don't have everyone to put it in there. Just put a door there for now, at least that means they can start. So I've got 15 prisons, and we're going to get one more in a few hours time. So we can probably look maybe at expanding and building a new prison cell block as well. Because this cell block is quite simple, I guess, would be the right thing to say. Although, have we got, if we go to my bureaucracy screen, have we got the option to look at prison labour? So that's a thousand, so we can definitely pay for that. Um, tax relief is being learnt, psychology is being learnt. You're doing deployment, which is good. So we've got plenty of things being researched, which is what we want to see. Got two cleaners. But at the moment, the cleaners there isn't enough cleaners, so I probably might want to put like a little cleaning cupboard maybe in here, and then we can start looking at preparing for prison labour. Get them to clean up their own mess, which I don't think would go down particularly badly in the context of everything that's going on here. So we've probably not got much more space for food, actually, than we probably would like. So we might have to look at expanding the canteen not too far from now. But I can expand that up to here, can't I? That shouldn't be a problem. So I need to hire a gardener before I forget. I should finish that off nicely, allowing us to get ourselves another system. So health and well-being is what I'm processing doing anyway. And I'm searching researching psychologist, so we'll take that one. Simply because I've kind of started it already. I didn't want that to happen, but it's what it has happened. It's taken the fence. So if we take brick wall, can I just overlay this and just say replace that with a brick wall? Will they do that? I thought they might. Okay. So we need to bring this some power. That's water. We need to bring this some power just so that it lights up everything. Ooh, there's all sorts of exciting electrical things that I'm not really sure about. Ooh, controversial. Okay, so you've managed to get yourself on the outside of that, which is okay for now. Okay, so inside here then, we're going to want to make some rooms. So we could just make a long corridor, I guess, and have all the rooms off to the side and move the door up there. That might be a better idea. So if we make ourselves an in infirmary, my eyes are deceiving me, I can't see. Exports, 
Kennel Morgue Infirmary. There it is. You require health. I require health. Ah. Well, I know what's coming next then. So we can build the psychologist's office though. So let's move this door. So we'll put the door... Door here. And then we can remove that door. And then we can have a corridor here, the infirmary here, there can be two offices in the middle, and then some classrooms down here ready for later on. Well, that guy just decided to pass just through the fence, so that was good. Glad to see that's nice. You're passing through the wall, which is, again, good. So the magic and invisible situation they find themselves in. Okay, so objects. We've got the door coming into there. It's fine. Some materials. Brick wall there, please. It's all good. It's going well. Everyone, you're gardening the crap out of the garden area. It's a good sentence. I'm glad I said that. So the prisoners are all going for eating. So food's ready. I think they're all sorted in there. Okay. Let's speed up time a little bit on this construction work. Okay. So. So we pause the timer for a second and do a little bit of planning. So we can have a little corridor, maybe. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's how big the psychologist's office has to be. So one, two, three, four. So we could just make a psychologist's office that big. And then we can have the infirmary, the number of beds, which I'll work out in a second. Then we need the morgue. This just needs some slabs for dead bodies attached to that. And then we can have a classroom down here for educational purposes. I don't see a problem with that. Okay. All right. So let's build some walls. And then we'll take those walls down for a second because we'll build the infirmary first. And we'll see how big the beds are. So if we get the office sorted out. So we'll start the timer again. I'll get you fast forwarding because there's not much more to do than, than simple things here. So you're going to want to sit here and we'll put some comfy chairs in here, shall we? So we'll put a sofa and we'll put one of these little sofas and then we'll have the filing cabinet over here and I think that's all we actually need isn't it just put a normal door so people can come and go if they need to and that's bringing everyone in to everything didn't they so we'll make What's a calming sort of mosaic floor, maybe, to relax everyone? 
So we need the health, which shouldn't be too far away. You, I want to research, actually I'll cancel that, research patrols, because that's something that I need to, to deal with up here. Oh, we found some narcotics apparently. What? What was that? Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, oh, one of you, come here. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he took an overdose, did he? What's he done? That's not gone well. Why is he dead? Yeah, so we're going to have a little bit of a search the cell block for narcotics situation because something's gone wrong here. So we'll get that sorted out. So we should be able to build the infirmary in a moment. I think we should be able to hire a psychologist to go into here. He's going to want some lights in his room. That's fair enough. So we'll put a light above his desk and a light over here. And then we'll light up the corridor as well. So now that we've got the infirmary set up, we should be able to put the infirmary down in here and then I can work out the sizings for objects. So it just needs medical beds realistically. So if I put medical bed there, medical bed there, medical bed there, medical bed there, and then I can make the classroom one bigger. One there, one there, and one there. So, then we'll just add in the concrete walls along here, like so. Uh, no, we'll not do that one, we're going to make it one smaller. And then we should be able to make putting a staff door I guess because it's going to be staff only I'd imagine in the in the morgue and then we can have if we go into planning mode and just get rid of all of this crap for now find a mobile phone I'm going to have to set up a solitary area for punishments aren't I because clearly you're not you're not taking this as seriously as you'd like to taking the dead guy out to the medical lorry that's arrived. We'll soon we'll be able to deal with the dead guy and have someone sort him out properly. Should get everything we need in the right places. So we need a room, which is the morgue. Morgue slabs. Like so. And that should be that. Done. We can get some doctors and we get our money. That's good. So we get ourselves a grant then. So we can go into here and have a look what else we've got. So working, education, short-term investment, a long-term investment, or cell block B up to 50. I'm not ready to try and expand it to 50 just yet. And there are four more that are hidden. So let's go for a short-term investment. So that's just going to take 71 in-game hours to make me 11 grand. 
which I'm guessing is not too bad. That guy's lumping a massive morgue slab all in his tod. So we've got a psychologist. Uh, I'm guessing we can unlock something with the psychologist. Nope. So that's fine. So we probably want to spend a bit of time then looking at maybe education is the next thing I want my warden to unlock. Finance, extra grant, bank loans, offshore tax havens. Saves a lot of money then. So that's a £50,000 investment, which we could afford to do, but that seems like a silly thing to do when we have this much money. So go for the extra grant then, shall we? You finished that one, so we will look into surveillance like I wanted originally. I've already paid for it. Okay. It's all going well then. actually afford to take in three prisoners apparently. So we'll take in three prisoners. It's going good. Slow and steady wins the race. So we probably want to put some lights in the hospital. know so they can do the uh, sort of the medical things you'd expect them to be able to do and we'll light up the morgue as well so that everyone can see what they're doing and then we'll light up this room down here it's all good we can also put some windows in why not Some windows and some lights, <laughs> get everything set up and working properly, as you might expect it to or need it to. Excelente. Okay. So, with three arriving, and I can only accommodate two, but I've got a holding cell for one of them, so that's not too much of a problem. Okay. So, what are we doing now? What's progress being made? Let's fast forward time a little bit. So, we should we look at making a, some another the prison cell cell block 